In Euphoria, the HBO dark drama series, the characters face challenges far more adult than you might expect for a group of cool teens. It is narrated by Rue, played by Zendaya, a 17-year-old who is struggling with addiction. The show from creator Sam Levinson has generated plenty of controversy for the topics of sex, drugs and violence in the lives of high schoolers. This highly stylized series has also become iconic because of its depiction of Gen Z, their style, fashion, makeup and beauty choices. In Euphoria, fashion is an important way for young people to express themselves, even if they are still figuring out exactly who those selves are or who they want to be. Let's look on the main five characters and analyze their style. Rue Bennett Rue is seen with dark brown eyes, a heart-shaped face and wavy brown hair that she sometimes keeps untamed over her shoulders, but also likes to pull it into a ponytail or a bun. Her skin complexion is brown beige, as she is mixed racial and comes from one parent who is black and another who is white. However, she seems to appear as pale and sickly due to the after-effects of drug addiction and lack of care from her mental issues with dry lips and dark rings under her eyes. Rue seems to like to wear makeup at times, usually eyeshadow and glitter under her eyes, which she tends to not remove and leave smeared on. Unlike her friend Jill's, Rue's outfits rarely vary. While Jill's outfits are more closely organized, Rue's outfits are more casual and comfortable, relying closely on her father's hoodie, baggy shirts, loose button-ups and shorts. She typically wears Converse sneakers for footwear. While wearing a corset dress for winter formal, Rue stated she felt deeply uncomfortable with it, hinting that she doesn't find feminine wear appealing to wear. Rue prefers typical tomboy style, from machine shrunk tank tops paired with cargo trousers and tie-dyed tees with board shorts to oversized hoodies with bowling shirts and converse. Her super relaxed aesthetic is a great contrast against the rest of the girl's hyper-feminine looks. Rue is a role for which Zendaya took home an Emmy. The character often ignores gender norms, she likes androgynous psychedelic streetwear. Let's mention one of her iconic costumes when she was wearing a tuxedo to dress up as Leonardo DiCaprio's Jack from Titanic for Halloween. When we want to explain tomboy look, it is typically masculine clothing, nothing considered stereotypical girly. Models, icons and now influencers have been wearing tomboy outfits for decades. Katrin Hepburn, portrayed by Kate Blanchett in the 2005 The Aviator, is probably one of the first tomboys in both style and in spirit. She wore pants instead of dresses and kept her hair short in an era when it was deemed unladylike to dress in such a way. The recent-day tomboys are, for example, Cara Delevingne or Kristen Stewart. The tomboy style isn't just about wearing men's clothes. Although it does tend to lean more on the masculine side, it does not mean that you can't also be all things sassy and girly. Jules won. At first, Jules looked like a cheerful, sweet and quite confident girl. But after the events of episode 6, she begins to be less respectful to the point of fleeing the city. Jules is a young teenage girl with long platinum blonde hair and blue eyes. In stark contrast to Rue, Jules' usually vivid eye makeup look that goes along with her eclectic yet cute fashion, largely composed of colorful tennis skirts, dresses and mesh tops that emphasize her figure in order to look more appealing and attractive to men. However, as series goes by, Jules' style starts to include more defined and elegant clothes instead of only cute and pastel ones. 
On certain occasions, her hair is dyed, such as pink on bread during the carnival and black during the winter formal. Jill's outfits are somewhere between Blade Runner and a Grimm's music video. She wears platform combat boots, holographic backpacks and kicking pleated skirts. Her character was described in a script as having a look inspired by anime. She was even referred to as looking like a Sailor Moon, Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Naoko Takeuchi. Medi Perez Medi has full lips, tan skin, dark brown shoulder-length hair and dark brown eyes. In a manner similar to Gilles, her makeup is colorful but also more structured due to her past as a pageant queen with her signature winged eyeliner being a staple in her various looks. Medi gets slut-shamed for her looks more than any other character on the show. Her boyfriend Nate calls her a hooker at a carnival, causing her to trash his family's chili stand. She took her inspiration for fashion from pop stars and Instagram influencers. We can see also kind of millennial look according to her juicy couture style. She is inspired by Rihanna's sexy looks or J Lo's hot feminine style. Even her promo look was inspired by Rose McGowan's 98 MTV VMAs look. She also wears amazing makeup. The actress Alexa Demi, who played Medi Perez, tells Teen Vogue, we had our long conversation with Sam, the makeup artist, just about makeup. Alexa grew up with issues of Vogue and Harper's Bazaar flooding her house and has been saving inspiration images. Old showgirl stills, iconic photos of Elizabeth Taylor and Nina Simone with jewel encrusted eyelids and eyebrows. So this project was a collaborative process. Kate Hernandez Kat's wardrobe evolution mirrors her sexual journey from virgin to cam girl dominatrix. At the beginning, Kat is plus-sized teenage girl with chin-length mahogany hair, ivory skin and dark brown eyes. She wears glasses with cat eye frames with her everyday clothes often being average shirts, tops and dresses. After starting her career as a dominatrix, her style switched over to more eye-catching and somewhat rebellious, often including to her outfits accessories or materials that are related to bondage, such as harnesses, chokers, latex or meshes. She also started to wear more intense makeup and stopped wearing the hair glasses. The whole style is inspired by Cult of the Matrix or BDSM subculture. As her style is developing, she becomes more powerful in her dresses and in her makeup. She wears long sleeve tops with plastic miniskirts, unforgettable corsets paired with goth, vamp makeup with red lipstick. As Kitten Queen, she wears black lingerie with harnesses and chokers and also a black cat mask with golden adornments. Cassie Howard. Cassie has dirty blonde hair that is a mix of light brown and blonde highlights, green eyes and an hourglass figure. She is curvy and she is of average height. Her makeup is simple on everyday occasions with basic foundation, highlighter, mascara, a bit of eyeliner. But she has also fun bright blue makeup on Halloween when she dresses up as Alabama Verley. Cassie was the hardest character to design visual style because her character is floating. Unsure of who she is and what she wants, she is the kind of girl who wears something sexy because a boy told her to or tries a trend because a friend has. It is the reflection of confused relationship with her sexuality thanks to others constantly over-sexualizing her Somewhere between a wholesome 80s girl next door, she wears mom jeans and cute cardigans. When we talk about the girl next door look, it is a term used to describe a female archetype and fashion aesthetic 
which can range in terms of personal definition, but usually denotes a girl or woman who appeals to traditional or all American gender norms with the allure of purity, simplicity and charm with a natural modis or effortless beauty. There are some exceptions from her girl next door look according to Cassie character. For example, the moment when she decorates her entire face with Swarovski crystals for a fantasy ice skating sequence in the show's 8th episode. Which character do you like most? Have you ever tried to wear looks inspired by Euphoria? Looking forward to read your comments. Thank you for watching and let's see in the next video.